the 16th edition of Suderman Cup. It's a World Mixed Team Championships. And what an outstanding games we've had all day and the crowd is starting to funnel in big smiles from the fans. Well, it was a men's doubles. It was Chinese Taipei that took that one in 40 minutes, Lee and Wang. And what a match we just watched. The world number one, Tai Zhu Ying, defeated by the 17-year-old from Korea, Ann Si Young. Up next, we have a men's singles. It's number three in the world, Cho Chin Chen versus Lee Don Kyun. And then a women's doubles, Chang and Young and Chong and Kong. And then to finish it off, it's a mixed doubles, Young and She and Seo and Chai. Well, what a game. It's one apiece. Chinese Taipei, maybe a little surprise in the men's doubles, and then a very big surprise in the women's singles. But they evened it off. Maybe some people would have said it would have been flipped on both of them. But what great games we have here. They're battling it out to be number one in this pool. You'll get separated better going into the quarterfinals, so it's a very important time in this men's singles. Well, Cho Chin Chen to lead the way and Lee Dong Kyun to follow. Well, the linesmen have been doing an amazing job here and all the umpires and service judges from around the world as well. They go to many, many tournaments all around the world. 200 tournaments in a year there, is, there are, and 65 have been completed, so in about another 135 to go for 2019. Well, they have had head-to-heads. It's 3-2 for what? Cho Chin Great. Chen. Yeah. And it was Lee Dong Kyung that won the last time 22 20 in the third, so very, very close. Court service. But they started playing against each other back in 2011, actually, in Vietnam. And it was Lee Dong Kyung that won it then. So then it was three in a row for Cho Chen Chen. It was China Open in 2018. And then Denmark, and then in 2014. China again, Cho Chin Chen won. So 3 2. This is the sixth time meeting. And here on the court, the very strong Cho Chin Chen. 29 years of age, 180 centimeters tall. Well, his highest world ranking was number three. And he sits at number four at the moment from Taipei. Very powerful, though. That's his strength, definitely. That attack, that strong legs to move. Well, he won two straight games against Kalong Angus yesterday, 21-15, 21-15. Hong Kong. Now we have Lee Dong Kyung, 28 years of age. He's from Seoul, South Korea. His highest world ranking was number 16, and that was back in September of 2016. So a little bit ago, and now he sits at 26 in the world. He didn't play against Hong Kong, so this is the first time that he'll be playing in the tournament, although he's had some warm-up. I've seen him practicing the last few days. There's five great practice courts, too, just outside the doors you'll get to see, and then five great courts here. Well, our umpire today is Susan Taylor from Australia. And a service judge from Mauritius, Sayed. Well, final preparations. Two minute warm up after the coin toss. Not much of a drift. There's a little drift, I'd say, possibly to the right, but very, very little. Usually in big facil facilities like this, you will have a natural drift, but not much here. Can Lee Dong Kyun make it 3 3? 
Very evenly matched, actually. Similar styles. On the near side in white, Li Dong Kyung decides to serve, and on the far side, from Chinese Taipei, it's Cho Chin Chen. Well, both these players are very strong. They cover the court well, but Cho Chin Chen just has that little extra attack. He's so strong when he gets behind the shuttle, he smashes, comes in nice and straight, nice and fast. So a little edge to Cho Chin Chen. Tai sits at one apiece, so they know how critical this men's singles is. The men's doubles for Chinese Taipei won the first one, and then it was Han Young in Korea. So one all in the tie. The winners of this tie will be number one in the pool, so in their pool. Both fighting to see where they'll be placed in the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals will be the knockout draw. Three, Chen Chen. Number four at the moment, but earlier this year in 2019, that's when he reached number three. So not far off his mark. Trying to work his way back up to that number. <laughs> Incredible cross court shot. Oh, just watch at the net. That shot right there, that's the one that set it up. He held it. He held it just at one sec. It was a tricky shot. He holds it. A lot of deception. Sets himself up beautifully and goes cross. Again, Cho Chin Chen coming out on top. Coming out so strong, it's He's on the scoreboard. Oh, Lee Dung Kyung really One, five. had to work for that point, puts the smash in.
rally, that was incredible. The corners, 32 shot rally. Oh, couldn't get up on time. Just barely getting to the first one. Slow getting up. Uh, no chance. Chen Chen coming out really strong on this game. He reached the semifinals recently at the Badminton Asian Championships. Also the semifinals at the Singapore Open. German Open this year as well. It was in 2018 at the China Open he reached the final in the Denmark Open. And earlier in 2018 he won the Korean Open. finalist at the Asian Games as well. So silver medal there. After Cho Chin Chin won the French Open back in 2014, he said he built up a lot of confidence, and it was a big win against Wang Zeman of China. He lost 10, 21, then 21, 25, 23, 21, 19. So that was a big boost. And then he just kept getting better and better. He believed in himself, and that was a big thing, he said. Now he's winning the Super 500s and finals at the 750s. Yeah. Oh. Chen Chen's first Thank wins you. were back in 2012 at the Canadian Open. Great smash that time by Lee Dong Kyung. That's what he needs to do. He needs to get on attack. That's one of his strengths. Covers the court well. He was a bronze medalist back in 2008 at the boys' singles for the BWF World Junior Championships. It was held in India. to the net. Lee Dong Kyung, 2018 US Open, and that's a super 300. And then it was back in 2015, he played the Grand Prix and uh, won the Mexico Grand Prix and Korean Masters. His first win was back in 2011 in Vietnam. Chin Chen. Yeah. 
Outstanding power goes across on that. The thing is, you have to be careful because he can have, also have that big smash straight, but there it is, goes cross. So you can see Lee dong yuk Kyung looking for the down the line, so he mixes it up so well. the other cross-court smash. It's this one sets himself up right there, goes cross, another one cross. Back to the same place, it's hard to do. Chinese Taipei lead the way, 11 to seven. back on court. It's 11-7 for Cho Chin Chen. Started off with a five-point lead to start off the game. The attack right there makes a difference. Thank you. 
trying to pace Lee Dong Kyung in the forehand corner, really popping this clear straight into that corner. Trying to set up his smash. But if you watch Cho Chin Chin, the way he clears sometimes, he holds it just to the last second, that big fast snap. Just waits for his opportunity. shot, hits the tape, tumbles over. Can't get much better than that. What a shot. Oh, two, chin, chin. Slightly shorter than the Dong Kyung. Three centimeters shorter. Both of them play fantastic attacking shots. Cho Chin Chin started when he was five years old. His parents took him to play with some friends, really loved it. Got into the badminton and then on the national team at 17 years of age. Sometimes when he's going to the forehand too, it's, it's not bouncing up that quickly. He's down and almost down and out. Can't get the bounce back up like you see some of the other players. So taking a bit of a break, trying to pop up the court a little bit more, but the umpire for today, Susan Taylor, says, no, nope, it's fine. Get back out there and play. No more waiting around. And they try to keep it going. Not too many breaks in badminton. 11 points, and then after the match, the games. Fantastic shot from Lee Dong Kyung. Caught Cho Chin Chin looking for the back court. A little bit of slip. Both of these players are sweating. It's not so hot this morning, actually, to be honest. It's uh, a little bit humid, but not as hot as other days. A little overcast outside. The average temperature in Nanning is over 21 Celsius all year round. Get a bit of rain, but uh, actually it's quite hot. Two hours east of Vietnam. chance on that one. Cho Chin Chin does some damage on the floor. Watch a snatch. Up. All you have to do is guess.
Well, they're asking for the change of shuttlecock, and uh, Susan says, show me before you change it. She says, continue to play. Usually, if it's not your serve and you're asking, it better be visible to the umpire to change it. If not, uh, you usually say, play on. Final decision is for the umpire to make. What a shot. Cho Chin Chen gets up so high, just cuts the shot. Perfectly placed. It's to me like is doing very well today, as well as other days. Cho Chin Chen mixes it up so nicely. Smash straight down the line. Nice solid play out there. Nice steady, great attack. Looking very confident in game number one. Pass clears to the back of the court. And no chance on that one. Down the line, did it hit? It could be game. There's a challenge. Dong Kyung, you might as well challenge it. You're allowed two unsuccessful challenges, so happened so quick, I'm not sure about that angle. Nope, it's in, it's game. Game goes to Chinese Taipei. Game. Cho Chin First Chen. Game, won by Chinese Taipei, 21-12. Nice, solid, all-around play out there. Getting on attack first, moving all, all corners, pumping him into his forehand. Cho Chin Chin up, 
Well, Cho Chin Chin gets the first point after winning the first game, 21-12. Fantastic attack, great placement, and coming out strong. Zero. The first game was 5-0. Watch his shot beautifully. Just hits the tape. Oh, not enough. Cho Chin Chen looking solid out on court. Mentally, physically, he knows what to do. Playing some of his best badminton of his career. Number four in the world. Trying to work his way up the world ranking. Looking towards the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. This is his fifth oh. Suderman Cup. Started back in 2009. Suderman Cup happens every two years. Oh. And finally broke the four point streak. Dong Kyung. This is his third Silverman Cup. Again, the power goes straight, goes cross. Always guessing which side. That hold clear. We're waiting for that opportunity. Perfectly set up by Cho Chin Chen. But it's his fast pace clear. Plus, he just holds it. That watch is snapping. It's so great. One, two, goes cross. But he goes up to it nice and quick. He holds it. Just that little extra and then pumps it fast. He's also trying to get Lee Dong Kyung's forehand. If you push him really deep, hard into that forehand over and over again, opening up the rest of the court.
there it is, right there. And again. And then he goes cross. that corner as well. Chu Chin Chin's big win was at the Asian Games. He won the silver medal in Jakarta 2018. Lost to Jonathan Christie 21-18 and then he won 22-20 and then lost 21-15. Asian champs. Bronze he lost to Shiyushi in 2019. Service over. Two, seven. And in 2018, Korean Open, Singapore Open, German Open. He has a title for Bitburger as well, three in a row. But it was his confidence back in 2014 when he first won. French Open. Between 21 19 and the third. But after that, he was down on the ground, Thank you. very happy, and then said, My confidence just grew and grew, and I tried harder and harder, and now one of the best in the world. know each other's game so well. This is a sixth time head to head. Cho Chin Chin is leading the way 3-2. Service over, the lift you have to be careful if the lift's not in the corner you can't hit the same shot if it comes into the middle sometimes you cut down the angles Nick Larson used to do that so well he, would, he was very smart on court he would change the angles of of his shots not always in the corners you don't want to bring it in bring it to the middle because sometimes the players don't adapt and they still try for those angles Mistakes from Cho Chin Chen. Just out the side on that one. I'm surprised. Lee Dung Kyun's defense is usually really solid. He seems to be going down and not bouncing back up as fast as he sometimes can. Oh. 
Kind of slipped in the middle of the court. I think he's okay though. Yes, but that's a whole Cho Chin Chin. He was coming so fast forward. Watch this. He was coming so fast forward. He made him stop and then go back to that forehand. That's what I'm keep talking about earlier. He's really trying to pump him into that forehand corner. So Lee Dong Kyung was coming fast, made him stop, go to that forehand. And he just his feet kind of slipped out from under him. He has some strapping on his right knee as well and shin. That's strong, powerful legs. Especially in badminton, you'll have these very, very strong, fast, powerful legs. A lot of stop and go movements. You can have long rallies, jumping, springing, stop and go. So a lot of fitness needed in badminton. Reflexes as well. It's a great crossover sport for many, many different sports as well. to the net that time, nice and patient. That Lee Dong Kyung, Eight, ten. ever since that little slip, he's kind of coming out a little bit quicker. A little break. Forehand. Beautiful shot at the net. Oh my goodness. Cho Chin Chin comes out on top. 36 rally. Watch this. Down on the floor. And I get up. Oh, forehand to forehand. What rallies we've been seeing. Cho Chin Chin. Won the first game 21-12 and leading in the second 11-8. Cho Jin Chin on the front near side in blue. 39 minutes of play, won the first game at 21-12, now leading the second, 11-8. Oh. Lee Dong Kyung really so trying to so fight his way back into this game, but really struggling to get on attack. It's, it's really Cho Chin Chin dictating the pace in the game at the moment. Nine.
fantastic rally. Oh, in that time, Lee Dong Kyung comes out on top. Really trying to find that rhythm both ways. Well, Cho Chin Chin is asking, can we mop it up a little bit? I'm slipping everywhere. Both these players are going the distance. It's been 41 minutes of battle here on court number two. Day four of the 2019 Sudaman Cup. That's the World Mixed Team Championships. Kyung really getting back into this game now. No way. The Korean comes out on top. Well, Lee Dong Kyung. Never give up, watch this beautiful shot. Just hits the tape, I can do it, I can get it back. There it is, maybe you can do it, I can do it too. Chin Chin won the net battle. Both of these players hit so hard that that's where you want to try to get the setup. It's the net shots. It's the net shots. Get the lift, get on attack. So both of them are trying to win the net at the moment. A quick win. Up and down on the floor. Cho Chin Chin, watch this. Just hits a tape that time. Oh my goodness. Both of them just off the tape. The way they play the net shots. Most players, after you hit one like that, they wouldn't be able to return it. It's just a talent at this level that they make it look easy. It's not that easy to play those shots at all. Cho Chin Chin just up by two after 44 minutes of play. Five eleven. That's 180 centimeters tall. His opponent 183, just three centimeters. Longer reach. Nice racket at the net, goes up nice and high. What powerful, explosive ability, Cho Chin Chin. Those both players went to the last Olympic Games and they're gearing up for 2020 in Tokyo. This is also 
Valuable points towards that as well. Pull that too much. Lee Dong Hyun sticking with him. Watch again. Beautiful cross court shot. Pulls it too much out the side. Thirty-five shot rally. Great. Thank you. Play on. Coming to the net, what a get. Again, goes back to the forehand. Takes the pace off, and there it is. Oh my goodness, another one. And down that time, Lee Dong Hyung gets tied up. Cho Chin Chin all the way, watch this, perfectly placed, just stretching on that one. Puts it down. Two meter smash height, wow, incredible angle. Three meters, comes straight down. Speed, the angles, the touch, everything in badminton. Physical and mental as well. Play down here on court. And Cho Chin Chin has to change a shuttlecock. One at the net. And Cho Chin Chin just shows how it's done there. Come in nice and high. Great touch. Fast pace on the clears again. Oh, he was hoping it's going out. I believe that was in though. To Chin Chin. Should be able to mop up the floor at this challenge. They're on it. Yes, they are. So he calls for a challenge. Well, and wanted a little bit of a break, I would say. You're allowed two challenges, unsuccessful challenges. You're allowed more if you're successful, but two unsuccessful. Sometimes you can think when you want to use them, but always, I would say, leave one till the end. You don't want to use them too quickly, because when it really counts, you might uh, not have that extra challenge. So definitely make sure you your challenge 
make sure you have one when it gets close. Well, the 28-year-old on the far side against the 29-year-old on the near side. Lee Young Kyung down by three points in the second game. And a lucky break for the Korean. Lee Dong Kyung hits the top of the tape. Tape is five feet high, hard enough. Sometimes it bounces over. away from taking this match. Great smash, comes in so quick again. It's a hard one when it's so fast to hit down the line. You have to be careful, you have to bring it in. 52 minutes of play. Yes, there's sweat or maybe a piece of feather in my eye. Can I please just wipe it off? off of that one, finds that hole right at the net. His first match point. So strong, able to see the whole court. He's very clever out there, looking for the holes all the time. Watch this, nice flat shots, so much power, but just takes that speed off. And Lee Dong Kyung had no chance. Well played. Point for Cho Chin Chen, 20 to 16. Six times meeting. Cho Chin Chen, three to two. Body beautifully set up from Lee Dong Kyung. Saved one match point. I've seen, I've seen more attacking from Cho Chin Chen than Lee Dong Kyung for sure. He attacks, he seems to be winning the points. Can he save another match point? 54 minutes of play here on court number two. That's the way it's done. Cho Chin Chen, world number four. Great on defense. Look at that. Takes the pace off of it. Puts it to the ground with the win. All control, the power. I got it. A big roar in delight. 
Chinese Taipei take the lead, two to one in the tie, but it's Cho Chin Chin, 21-12, 21-17 with the big win.